In China's Guangdong province, recycling electronic waste or e-waste is a multi-million dollar business. Some 80% of the people who live in the city of Guiyu earn a living by ripping apart old electronics, especially mobile phones and computers, and salvaging valuable components to sell on the lucrative e-waste black market. But the communication revolution brought about by these high-tech products also has a darker side. You know, we should really be mindful of nowadays, people get rid of their old phones all the time. Kaiser Kuo is a director with Baidu, China's largest internet search engine company. Sometimes they end up in uh, cities in coastal China where we're dismantled in very, very unhealthy and unsafe ways that expose not only the, the people doing the disassembly to toxins, to, to dangerous chemicals, but also pollute the air uh, and the groundwater. Exposure to carcinogens, toxic fumes, and contaminated soil can be deadly, experts say. But e-waste isn't only a problem in China. West Africa has become a dumping ground for obsolete electronics from other parts of the world. According to a United Nations report, China and the United States produce one-third of the planet's e-waste. To address this dilemma, Baidu has come up with an innovation that could help reduce the improper disposal of electronic waste in China. It's a web-based app called Recycling Station, developed in partnership with the United Nations development program UNDP. But how exactly does it work? We type in the at sign. Then it gives me a choice of different electronic products that I might want to recycle. Uh, let's say I decide to recycle this refrigerator here, this old refrigerator. Uh, all I need to do is pick the, the size of the refrigerator, the date that I'd like it to be picked up, and then to take a photo of it. And now I select simply the place where I am and one of the companies that will come uh, and, and pick it up. Agi Verez is country director at UNDP in Beijing. This is very new, but we already see the success in this. Within two months, about 11,000 uh, devices uh, got recycled. The app was tested at TCL in Tianjin City, one of the largest manufacturers of electronics, as well as a leading recycling company in the north of China. Demi Wong is assistant manager at TCL, and she says her company plans to recycle 100,000 tons of e-waste each year. Aware of the dangers of toxic materials present in old appliances and electronics, workers use a special machine to process cathode ray tubes, or CRTs, from archaic television units. It's all part of a scheme supported by the government of China to cut the amount of e-waste generated in the country. Unless immediate action is taken, by 2017, China will overtake the United States as the world's largest e-waste producer. China's rapid economic growth has led to high levels of consumption. More and more people can now afford flat-screen television sets, computers, and multiple mobile phones, often trading in the older models for the newer ones. Kaiser believes that targeting the younger generation through its app to think responsibly is part of the solution. The app is a fine piece of technology and everything, but I think more important than that is the mentality, uh, commitment behind it. That it is hoped that this high-tech initiative could help China to reduce its e-waste output considerably. At the same time, it could ease the health-related impact on people who recycle e-waste illegally, protect water systems and the environment. This report was produced by Mary Ferreira for the United Nations.